Welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be like super fast, but then I thought I don't know where I'm going from there. <laughs> Just keep an eye in. No way! <laughs> oh, first car boot of 2023 for me. So I'm going to give you a quick run through of what I've got, what I paid, and what I hope to get back. Alright, so first up we have this bad boy. So this is a modern captain's chair, but still modern ones will still achieve around the 2 to 250. Uh, 90 quid paid up, but that will go in the shop just to get people's attention. So, there's that one, 90 into 250, let's say. Then we got this scale electric set here, and it came with this. I think that's just fell out of the box, and I paid 15 for that. I couldn't find that exact one. I was trying to be quick at the car boot. So that, I think roughly around 50, but that there could be a tenner. So let's just say 60 all in, 15 pound paid. I didn't get a lot to what I normally get because I'm just trying to cherry pick. <clears throat> trying to be picky with what I get. So before I forget, clothing. Remember I said in my last video, oh, I'm stopping clothing. Well, I decided I'm going to start it again. Nah. <clears throat> this is just going straight into the shop, so I ain't got to deal with that. Five pound paid, brand new with tags, with Gatta coat. Uh, I'll put that in the shop for 15 or 20, hopefully a quick sale. And now these things here. It's a vintage steamer trunk. Literally just sold one. I it was listed for a hundred pound. I accepted an offer for seventy five. Ten pound I paid for that one, but it has got woodworm, which I didn't know until it was too late. It's not active anymore, but I'll, I'll treat it anyway. So because of that, I'll, I'll list it for seventy five. Probably accept offers for around fifty sixty. Then we got these fire grates, paid five pound each. And I'll probably get 20 to 25 for that one. Around 50 for that one. This is quite a nice one. Quite nice actually. And then this one here, probably around 30. And then pay the wool. Paid a pound each for these. These here just go in the shop. Just a flat rate of two pound fifty a CD in the shop. It don't matter what that is. So I'll just go for them. So a pound each and two fifty. Uh, I won't read them all out. I'll just show you. One of them I've got to hide something on it. You'll see in a minute. <clears throat> <laughs> so all them we get 250 each in the shop then we got this here I've literally just sold one of these but a modern one and i pull it in the shop for 25 and it sold pretty fast like within a week this is a vintage one paid 10 pound so I'm going to put this in the shop for 30 probably, maybe 35, but I'll do some research first to see how much it is. I wonder what that was then when I grabbed it. <laughs> but let's just say 35 for that, £10 paid. Then we have this here. It's a vintage shop. It's like a, a compact, put me, two, like a calculator. So we've got that one and that one. Paid five pound each. Probably get between twenty and thirty-five each for them, as long as they're working. Then we have this here. 
It's a fire fender, paid up on that, 20 quid. But I'll get it professionally polished, cleaned up, looking banging. And even in that condition, I reckon there's 60 to 80 pounds in it. Get it all polished up, looking nice, maybe 80 to 100. Ooh. This one here, another steamer brush. Uh, paid a fiver for this one. This one's a much better one. So that, again, because the conditions are a lot better, that'll be between 75 and 100 pounds. And that was five pound paid. This here paid up on this, but this is, again is going in the shop. Forty pounds paid, and that's carved out of a, a single piece of wood. It's just a tree trunk. When you tip it over, you can see the tree underneath. It's heavy. Um, so forty pound. I'm gonna pull out in the shop. I'll aim for eighty. And got this one. Paid a tenner on that. I'm going to put that in the shop for 25 to 30. I haven't made up my mind yet. I actually got a load of these listed on eBay, but they take a long, long, long time to sell. So I'm going to put it in the shop for 25. Then we have this here. This is a big dish. Paid, what did I pay on that? Five pound. Took a chance on it, because I didn't want to um, stand there researching it. But five pounds got to be safe in that. Hopefully there's 25 to 30 in that. But we'll see when we research it. Then we got this one. I won't get it out. Paid up on this. This was the first buy of the day. So, 35, she wanted 40, I said 30, she said 35. So I took that. Um, it just needs a new belt. But um, I've looked online already and they're only about 10 pounds. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. If I was to sell it like that without getting the belt, I'd probably aim for like 100, but I'm going to pay the 10 pound, get the belt, pull it on. Plus then there's a learning, so we know how to do it for future. I think I've got some in stock now where it could do with a new belt, so it'd be good to see how easy that process is. Anyway, as it is, 100 pound, not much, well, sort of a double up after fees and then some. But if I get a belt on it, get it up and running, 150 to 250. So, yeah, I think I will definitely get a belt. Then we got this for two pound. It's from the 90s, little Power Ranger thing. But I think it needs new batteries. Either that or I don't know what this man will do. But yeah, two pounds, 20 quid. Who knows? Four pound paid for these, pair of vans. Just know it was a bit of damage. But a bit of glue will sort that out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I'm noticing more and more damage now. 10 pound, four pound paid. I only pay up on these for very little money because they do sell pretty fast when you get them if they're the right colour and style and size and everything. <laughs> then these, I think I paid five pounds for these. Three vintage enamel pans. So the probably the brown ones probably would be a hard sell, so I'll sell it as a set. I know they're not actually a set. But um, I'll sell them all together. £5 paid. Let's just say 30 quid. But I may put them in the shop yet. Um, oh, look. We could hang them in the shop. 
take up less room. I'll decide at a late date, but on eBay, let's just say 30 to 49 for the set. In the shop, probably 20 quid for the set. Then these, you can't, <clears throat> right. They're exactly the same, just different colors. They're heavy duty, thick, solid wood, pretty heavy. This one here is heavier than that one. Um, I didn't know why, but then I thought, oh yeah, leaded paint. <laughs> That's where right <laughs> over there. Um, You're old, man. So yeah, 40, what did I pay? 40 for the pair. Stuff like this sells for good, strong money. So I'm gonna put both of these in the shop and aim for 85 each. I reckon I'll achieve that as well. Um, so to me, it's like a industrial slash rustic look. I like this one better. That one, not, not too fond of that one. But then, we got these here so that top one is just dirty through transporting it but there you go as you can see they're all brand new then there's 38 there came to 76 um you wouldn't budge on the price but they're just a quick easy listing so one listing change quantity two pound each paid i'll get between six and eight pound a piece so I think that's actually my favorite barn, maybe. So that is it. Not much, short video, but it was my first car boot this year. So I thought I'll show you what I've got, what I paid, what I hope to get back. Hopefully it was interesting to you guys. If not, I'm lucky.